What's digging, pirates? Today, we travel a little south, and we're meeting a good friend. Uh, we call him the captain. Um, this is actually the same town where I met him. Shoot, that must have been like seven maybe eight years ago um it was within the first year or two that i started metal detecting so we're hooking back up with him we're gonna go hit the beach today as far as the weather goes it's a little rainy out and it looks like it's only gonna get a little bit more rainy that's okay because we're gonna be in the water today and i mean if you're wet you're wet who cares if you're swimming in it or if it's dumping on your head but hopefully it'll be a good day we're gonna get out there, we're gonna find some treasure, and we're just gonna have a good time. We're looking for gold, baby. All right, we'll see you guys in the water. Pirates, we got our first signal in the water. I've dug about three coins in the dry sand on the way down here. It's a bit sanded in. And what I mean about sanded in, it's really soft where I'm walking. It's not hard pack. And the hard pack is what you want. It looks like it's probably just a washer. We'll get it cleaned up. If by chance it's some type of token. Um, I've also seen Chinese coins that have the holes in them like this. But I'm not gonna hold my breath on it. We'll keep, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. yep, see, we just dropped it back in the water. This is why I have metal detector. So when I can, when I drop things, you can find them. Hey, look who's back. Second target, Let's see what it is. Aluminum slag, all right. All right, third target. All right, 10 cents. All right, so we're working right along this little drop off where the waves are crashing. Basically what it's doing is pulling from the shelf of the beach and it's just bringing everything right down into this little deposit area. As you saw in that last scoop, we got a lot of rocks, a lot of gravel. Everything's kind of piling up right here. The bad thing is if there's gold, it's gonna be below all of those rocks as well. All right, pirates, we need to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk. So we're still working the nearest shore uh, cut, and we just pulled a little bit more of this aluminum slag. I'm not sure where we get this, but in Lake Michigan, you will find it. Um, we've got a power plant to the south of us, and I don't know, we have a lot of freighters that go up and down the lake, so I don't know if this is pouring off of any of those. Um, but you find a lot of this, and it sounds really, really good. A really high tone, almost like silver. But the problem is, again, it's super light. Like, there's not much weight to it. So this tells me that this beach is definitely sanded in. It's really not worth sticking around. Um, if you've got nothing better to do and you just want to enjoy the day in the water, it doesn't matter where you hunt. But if you're looking for the heavy stuff, the gold, some silver, uh, quarters, whatever it's going to be. Take time, evaluate what you're finding, evaluate the conditions. If you walk out into the water and your feet start sinking into the bottom like three or four inches and it just gives way, it's not hard pack, odds are you're not going to find a whole lot other than a nice walk on the beach. So my recommendation to you, go find a new beach or detect up in the dry sand. People lose stuff all over the place. It doesn't always have to be the water. I just enjoy the water because it is nice. It's cool. Um, it's not as busy usually. You can move around pretty freely. Other than just me and my seagull friend today, we pretty much got the whole place to ourselves. Because you can see, we got rain in the horizon. But that's alright. If you're looking for the good stuff, there's a couple of quick tips to maybe help you evaluate your hunting location and whether or not you're going to find a whole lot. All right, we're going to go ahead, we're going to turn around, we're going to say hi to our little beach cleaner friend, hey buddy, and then we'll hit the south beach, maybe it's a little bit better, maybe there's more of a walk out there. Well, pirates, we've switched locations, 
We're on the south side of the pier now, and as you can see, the rain is on us. Just one of the many advantages of being a water detectorist versus dirt or land. You really don't care if you're going to get wet. Incoming bird! That looks like a Baltimore Oreo. Sweet! We're going to go check this beach out. We'll scout it. We've updated the captain, and he should be here pretty soon. He said he's on his way. Hopefully he's bringing breakfast. Well, the rain is picking up. I don't know if that's a good thing today or a bad thing. Guys, I don't plug a lot of the places I hunt too often, but if you get a chance, come visit South Haven, Michigan. Uh, the beach is fantastic. They've been updating a lot of things. They've got playground equipment for the kids. Um, there's plenty of little places to eat right in town. The beach is really clean. Uh, they keep it in top shape. The seagulls, they can be a little bit fussy, so watch out for them. <laughs> but the water is fantastic. It's super clear down here. Like I said, the sand is nice. It's just a great place to come and stay. So if you guys do get a chance, check out South Haven, Michigan. I would recommend it. So we moved to the south side, like I said, guys, and I'm glad that we did. The water here is calm, and the sand is hard packed, and we're pretty deep. We're only about 20 feet offshore. We're already up to our waist. We're not sinking into the sand, and I just dug a target that I thought was going to be a bottle cap. Turns out that it's a little pendant. And for any of you college football fans, this is the University of Michigan emblem. So yeah, looks like we have a University of Michigan fan. Not sure that this is going to be gold or anything. Doubt that it is. It's a little pendant. But, hey. That's our first jewelry find of the day, so it looks like moving was a great choice. <laughs> Alright guys, I had to turn I had to turn the camera back on because I just thought of a terrible joke that I have to tell you. And I'm probably gonna title the video this. But instead of the University of Michigan, let's just pretend that, that M stands for the University of Metal Detecting. Alright! I got schooled at the University of Metal Detecting. Alright, so now you guys know the joke, uh, and that's why we titled this video as such. Unless we find a big honking gold ring, then we'll title it Big Honking Gold Ring. Alright, enough of this crazy talk. Back to detecting. Alright guys, well it looks like we have the Excalibur set to small stuff today. Just pop this little earring out. Uh, it's nice and corroded, guessing that it's definitely junk jewelry. It was giving a terrible signal. Terrible. Uh, I pretty much wasn't going to dig it. But I'm working on trying to dig any false or null signals to see if they're just deep targets. And instead, we got some crummy jewelry. <laughs> Alright guys, we're still working this cut. We got another signal down here. Had a couple in this area and I lost one of them. Oh, oh, check it out. Guys, you see what I see? Woohoohoo! That's a ring in the scoop. Ring in the scoop. All right. And this is why you move locations. When it's not working for you, it's just not worth staying. Treasure. Hey, it fits. Now nah, I already got one of those guys. Notice that I don't have mine on though, because you'll lose it. <laughs> don't wear your own jewelry metal detecting. I see some of you guys do that and I just say they, why? Why would you do that to yourselves? Alright, nice little tungsten ring. We'll add it to the collection. Hey, Captain! Ahoy, ahoy! Arr, matey! Alright, I'm messing with you. Yeah, you got uh -huh. it.
I did, um, I did find the uh, tungsten um, right out there. Let me see that there. What, what's it, a uh, 52? Oh! Give it a give it a dig. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. You come out here, find one signal, and go home. <laughs> big old, big old, de, big old de bloom. It's like, yep. He's only got to come out here for for one signal. <laughs> the famous pull tab. There's something you don't see every day. Got us a nice little camera filter. I don't even know where the rain's coming from. Like, it, I know. <laughs> a rusty something. Oh, Roman. <laughs> We'll just return this to Disney. If anybody knows this girl, please leave a comment. Well, Captain, any final words of wisdom? <laughs> All right, we are back, done detecting with the Captain. Here's the take for the day. Not a whole lot of targets out there, unfortunately. It was a little slow, but we did have fun. Found a few things. All in all, quality over quantity. Got the nice camera filter here. Might be able to get a few bucks for that. It's a UV filter for a uh, 35 millimeter camera. The captain found this and then handed it to me. A little Disney pendant. That's cute. Might give it to the niece. What else do we got? Uh, some beer caps, barrettes. Oh, yeah. The uh, Metal Detecting University pendant, always a good good find. And of course the little junk earring. But the big take of the day, the ring, I'll take it. It's tungsten, it's not gold, it's not silver. Um, but a lot of times you see these tungsten bands still being sold for 100, 200, even as much as $300 in some stores. I have resold these on some of the resale apps like Offer Up or Let Go. You can get anywhere between, you know, 20 or 60 bucks just depending on the buyer, on the quality and uniqueness of the ring. All right, guys, just remember get out there, have a blast, go find some cool stuff, and keep swinging for their ring.